Hi, I'm Eric Wong from the blog to USB or not to USB. I'm here to demonstrate our HAPS 61-2 with our USB 3 device controller and we're going to run USB 3 compliance tests against our device controller and HAPS. So just as before we have our HAPS 61-2 with our USB 3 device controller. We use our, our PCI Express controller to talk from the uh, HAPS to the PC. And then we have our device controller, and then we have our own Synopsys USB 3.0 Phi here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to take this USB 3 cable, which is plugged into the standard USB host, and I'm going to plug it in here. And as you, um, as you look at the screen over here, you're going to see it's going to pop up. Um, so it pops up and enumerates immediately. And then I'm going to launch a USB CV, which is the USB command verifier. And what it does, it, this is the compliance test. And it actually replaced the existing stack with the compliance stack. Now in this software package, um, there are different tests. And I'm going to run the USB 3 Chapter 9 test. These are what are, are run for compliance testing. And as I run these tests, oh, and by the way, you're going to see that it actually enumerates the device. And it, and it recognizes it as a mass storage class, bulk only transfer test, um, a transfer type. And you're going to see that as the tests run, that uh, we're getting green, which means what we're passing, which is a good thing. Over here, we've also brought up something that shows us the different registers in here, and it's going to ch these registers will change as the power states changes. So in this case, uh, we're gonna there'll be a U1, U2 test, which are two new power states used with USB 3. And when those power tests come up, you're going to see a change indicating that it's a uh, it's a uh, that the the test has been run. Um, as we run through here, you can see this, these, these are green. U1, U2, again, very important for uh, low power testing. Here it comes. You're going to see a change right about now as it uh, changes the test. So there you see the values for the U1, U2 tests. In addition to uh, running the U1, U2 test, we're going to do the remote wake-up test. And to do that, I have to just run a, a remote wake-up command from our device, which is running on the, uh, the HAP61-2. So it ran the first one. And then I'm going to run a second test also. And uh, it runs the second test, and it ran it just fine, no problems. And uh, it's now running, and that was the remote wake-up enable and disable. And that remote wake-up is important, for example, if you've plugged in your cell phone into your laptop, and uh, it's gone to sleep, it's gone into some U1, U2 suspend mode, uh, low power state, and you want to remotely wake up your laptop from the phone or from your keyboard or something like that. So that's what that's important uh, for. So it's now run through all the tests except, and is finishing the enumeration test. That's going to run and that's going to pass. So I'm going to make our conclusion now, which is that what you've seen now is our USB 3 device controller on the HAPS 61-2 passing all of the standard USB 3 compliance tests run by the USB CV. Thanks for watching.